How do organizations adapt to a rapidly changing world? Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Future in 5. My name is Jacob Morgan. This is where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. I am here in downtown, well, actually I don't know if it's in downtown, but I am in Orlando. I am here to speak at a conference on the future of work, and uh, you can see the pool behind me. Looks like fun. Sadly, I'm not going to be going in there to swim. But, back to the topic at hand, how do organizations adapt to the future of work? Really quick, I have to say thanks to the folks over at Work Market for making this video possible. Their vendor in the freelance management system space, definitely check them out if you're a company looking to work with freelancers or a freelancer looking to work with more gigs. Okay, now we can get back to the topic. <clears throat> what should organizations be doing to adapt to the changes that we're seeing in the workplace? It is no secret now that change is happening in every part of the organization, across every department, pretty much in every geography. I've been traveling consistently over the past few months speaking to companies in pretty much every part of the world and it is consistently something that organizations are thinking about and ultimately the conversation gets back to what do we do? Do we focus on people? Do we focus on technology? Do we focus on process? Do we focus on uh, the physical space? Do we focus on collaboration? What do we focus on? I think the best way for organizations to think about preparing and adapting to the future of work, to this rapidly changing world that we're living in, is actually much broader in nature. So before thinking about technology or millennials or any of those types of topics, we need to have a broader um, mental shift within our heads, within the leaders of our organizations, within the employees that work there. And I think the best way for us to think about this is to look at our organizations less like factories and more like laboratories. So factories are notorious for being linear, process-centric. There's a lot of command and control. There's a lot of delegation. And factories are good at maintaining the status quo, at consistently producing the exact same product over and over and over. And that is how our organizations have been created. That is how they've been structured. The same types of employees, the same types of managers, same type of dress code, same type of technology everybody uses, same type of cubicle, same type of commute. It's very standard, it's linear, it's process centric. It maintains the status quo. Now look at laboratories. Laboratories experiment. Sometimes there are failures, but they learn from their failures and they learn from their successes. They replicate successes on broader scale. They use data to make informed decisions. And they're consistently testing and experimenting and figuring out what works and what doesn't. I think that is the model that organizations need to think about in order to survive and thrive and prepare for the future of work in this rapidly changing world that we're living in. So the best thing that we can do before we think about anything else, let's shift our mindset, our attitudes, our behaviors, and let's think of our companies as laboratories where we can experiment and test ideas and less like factories that are linear and process centric. Curious to hear what you think, leave me a comment below. If you're interested in sponsoring a series of videos or content, you can email me, jacob at thefutureorganization.com. You can also email me if you have any topics that you want me to explore or questions that you might have. If you also want to get access to articles, podcasts, and other videos that I'm working on like this one, you can visit thefutureorganization.com. And of course, I'm on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Jacob M. That's it for me from Orlando. I'll see you next time on an episode of the Future in 5. Hey, are you interested in the future of work? If so, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the latest content on the future of work and stay up to date on all the latest trends and happenings. Not to mention, you will make me very, very happy. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs>